people are like, what's this beautiful plant that's all golden along the highways? Yeah, it has uh, jokingly replaced the rhododendron as our state's flower, but scotch broom is anything but welcome as the noxious weed continues to spread and also wreak havoc on allergy sufferers. While Washington's Department of Agriculture has been releasing beetles to control the weeds for nearly a decade, the beetles only take care of the seeds, not the parent plant. So while you are out and about this weekend or if you just come across scotch broom, an expert with noxious weed control in our state says there is an extremely easy way you can help cut down on the spread, literally. So we can all literally do one thing a day. We can all go out and do one scotch broom a day. You don't have to remove the whole thing, but this literally takes thousands of seeds. So I always say one a day keeps a million away. Cut those off. Now, if uh, loppers are more your thing, uh, Dana says you can get down close to the root level and lop it off. And oftentimes that will kill the plant. If you have a lot of this on your property, you need to be mindful. A scotch broom has a volatile oil in it. So cutting it and piling up could pose a serious fire hazard. Interesting. Well, now if you are in Kitsap County, we are popping up an email address up on your screen. If we have that, uh, we don't have that, but we'll have that for you. You can shoot uh, Dana an email for a voucher and you can get rid of your scotch broom at a local landfill. There's the email address right there.